Hello YouTube, I'm going to be doing a app review, a Cydia app review, my top 10 favorite Cydia apps for the iPad that work with the iPad, not just the iPhone. So let's see here. My number 10 would have to probably be the vertical scrolling because everyone can do this, but you can now, with this Cydia app, I have the all the links of all my top ten in the uh, sidebar for the um, repositories for Cydia. So this is a uh, inf uh, Infina Infina board, I think. You can go to here in Infina board, right there. So Infina board, vertical scrolling, right on. So yeah, that's what my number ten. My number nine top uh, city app, obviously, everybody knows it, sorry, is uh, Installius. Not that big of a deal, everybody knows Installius, that's why it's my number nine. But on the iPad, it's different looking. This is uh, Installius 3.1, I believe, made for the iPad, completely different. And you can search easily. And uh, over here, you can choose to only have iPad apps or not, which is really handy. And so yeah, you can have iPhone apps that you can download. So yeah, it's number nine. All right, and then my number eight is uh, Make It Mine. So here we go, Make It Mine. Come on. Make it mine. Basically, it's a city app. It says Erica right there. Sorry for the terrible quality. I'm using my iPhone to record this because my friend has my camera. So basically, what Make It Mine does so allows you to change the like the time to whatever you want it to say. So I have iPad reviewing for my YouTube channel. So you can make it you can make it say anything. Just be like do. You hit done. So we're gonna have it turn into that by hitting banner right here. So hit banner and it'll change that right there. Hit carrier and it'll change what's right there, which is normally iPad. I changed to AT and T, so it looks like I'm a badass. And so that's number eight. All right, my number seven would have to be Winterboard. Right now, there's not much you can do with Winterboard for the iPad. As of today's date, being like the tenth or whatever, and so you see it's right here, window board. I have it to where you hide it. You can hide it. If it doesn't show up. So right now you just have the basic ones. I have the black Wi-Fi bar bars, and that turns the Wi-Fi bars into the AT&T like signal strength. Uh, yeah, and I also have battery colors on. That makes my batteries fully charged. It's like. A brilliant blue color which makes it really nice and then black navigation bars because that just makes it badass looking so that's number seven my number six which is actually really good is uh, the TV out tuner app right there basically what it lets you do is connect your iPad to the TV such as that one and see exactly what's on the screen on the TV which is really good I like it I have used it I'm going to do an app review of it in my next video or whatever hopefully when I get my camera back so that's basically that uh, so this you're like oh but then we have to buy the fucking one made by Apple the connector point that plugs into the side right there the headphone jack no you can just use any AV cable for uh, the, the, for like ever, just plug it in there, plug it in your TV, and it'll be fine. So this is a really good app. It's made for iPhone, but the updated version, as you can see, the updated version allows for iPad uh, capabilities, which is really nice. So that's number six. Number five would have to be iFile. iFile's pretty good. I like it. It allows me to look at anything. Let's make it bigger. Well, 
I'm looking at the camera, not the iPad. So, uh, yeah, it's, I think it's better in a, a, whatever it's called, portrait. So you can look at anything on, all, like, all the shit for it. Uh, if you know Ty's iPhone help, they have, he has this one thing making voice control for the iPad. And you have to have iFile for it, which is really handy. Once again, I will be having all the, uh, repository links update packages on the in the the bar wherever it is right or down there yeah right down there because YouTube keeps changing it they're little faggots so yeah this makes me look at anything like let's go to VAR that's the most obvious one everyone goes there for anything mobile media and uh, screen recorder screen recorder is pretty nice that's me uh, make videos that it's on the screen, but I got the wrong one. I'll, I'm gonna make an app review. This will probably be my number four, and so unfortunately, it's for iPhone mainly. It's recording, recorded what's on my screen from the iPhone size, so it's only doing a record, uh, like a side of it. Pretty fucking retarded. But done. So, yeah. It's number whatever it is. Once again, number five was just that screen recorder, which I cannot find on here. I guess I got rid of it because it sucked ass. So yeah, I'll keep you updated on the better version. Now, my number four favorite would have to be eye strings. This allows so much. For example, it allows me Okay, we're gonna go here. You change anything. Hello, Coxpert. That right there is a 534. That is just a, a font swap. So we're gonna lock it in the password. Enter this shit. Let's say you messed up on typing the password. And then you hit that. You fucked up. Yes, you can change to anything you want. I changed to that. So hold on, let me type in the password. And so that's really awesome. Uh, let's say I deleted something. I, I delete something. Let's, uh, I don't like this. Let's get rid of it. I, okay. Okay, now we're getting rid of Battle Bears. Delete. Uh, fuck off, Battle Bears. <coughs> Goodbye. No thanks. And so, yeah, you can change all kinds of things. I'll show you right here. You go to settings. Once you download it, it won't be like an app. It'll be in your settings. And then you go to ice strings. And here's the popular ones, the main ones. And then you can look at the advanced. <coughs> and there is a million of these. Of changing everything. I changed a whole bunch more, but I'm not going to go through that. Right, my, my number three favorite would have to be activator. So we go to settings, and then right here is activator. So we'll hit activator, it's under extensions. Basically, this allows you to open up any app or anything like that from anywhere. Like, double press. I have it set to Fruit Ninja because I'm working on Fruit Ninja a little bit. So, Fruit Ninja, I have it set for double press. So Double press the home button, it'll open up Fruit Ninja. Or any app you want it to be. That's my number two. Alright, my number one app would have to be Backgrounder. Backgrounder allows you to run like anything in the background. And like it'll save you where you last were. And yeah. I'm I don't have a demonstration of it because I got rid of it. The only problem I don't like about it is it kills your battery life and that is just terrible so so right now background is not that big of a deal because in the 4.0 update coming out on June 24th I believe yeah June 24th there will be the background for iPad and uh, iPhone 3GS and iPhone 4 so yeah and that's my top and City apps. I'll have the repositories in the link description below and say hi to my dog.
All right, so my number three, whatever fucking number I'm on, four, three, yeah, three. Three or, fuck. 